Hey guys, today we're going to create graffiti-like text effect using Affinity Photo. I'm going to use a desktop version of this app, but you can also follow this tutorial on iPad version of the software. All right, so let's get started with type tool. We need to type something, in my case, name of my channel, crew mark. I can use move tool to modify the size of this whole element just like this, then select the text and change the font. We need a font that looks like graffiti. If you want the same font as me, I will drop a link in the description below. Alright, something like this. I'm happy with the size and the font. I position my text in the middle. And now I'm going to use this built-in stock bank to search for a background image. In my case, I'm going to type wall and pick some brick wall as my background. All right, here it is. The image is really huge. I will drag this layer down so it's below the text layer. I will zoom out a little bit so I can use the handle at the corner and scale down the background image. All right, here it is. Now I'm going to add a layer style to this layer. So we need to click on layer first and then this effect button at the bottom over here. There's a whole pop-up box with layer effects. And for us, we're going to use color overlay. So there's like a layer of color at the top of the image. This way we can make the texture a little bit softer. Just like that. We can turn it on and off so you can see the original one and the one with the color. So now it's a little bit softer. All right, let me just change template size to bigger so we can recognize layer easier on the, this right panel. We got our background. Now it's time to go back to the text itself. I'm going to use text tool. Again, I want to get rid of this red thing checking my spelling all right done now i can apply some text some layer effects to this layer with the text as well so same button layer effects and we'll start with gradient here this time so here's the gradient we can modify angle of it and we can modify gradient color as well maybe blue will do changing to something uh, between blue and violet like this feel free feel free to experiment here for a while we can also add a little bit of noise to the gradient as well all right much better Next step, we're going to add overlay around the text. I'm still in this layer effect panel, just applying additional effect. In this my case, white overlay. You can change blending mode of this overlay as well, so it will blend with the background in different ways, but I recommend to stay with normal one if you don't have much experience with blending modes. And here the final touch, we will use this one, this effect, to give it a glow. Like someone use a spray to spray a glow on the text itself. So let's get rid of the dark color. We don't need dark color, we just need the glow color. And we can modify this color. So let's change blending to normal and change the color itself to whatever you like like this like someone just used the spray to highlight letters from one side again you can experiment here you can check different combinations you can modify the angle of it as well to move this glow around 
It's hard to explain each slider here, but the best way to learn them is to simply experiment. Try different configuration and you will get it. All right, so we got this highlight glow over here. We got this outline. I will move it back to normal blending mode. And maybe a little bit bigger like this. Okay, so here's our text with some effects. Let's make a duplicate. I just copy the whole layer. I make a copy of the whole layer and effects as well. Now I can modify effects on this top copy. So I go back to the effect panel. Which let's make it transparent. So get rid of fill color. And also we will need to switch off the gradient fill as well in a moment. So we can modify the value of this glow and we can see through this layer so it will appear on the another text. But first switch off the gradient like this and now I can see there is additional glow. So I got the old glow on the previous layer, the one with in the yellow and now I can add additional glow using different color. So we can blend two colors here. And again just experiment with sliders, with angles. Maybe we will end up with interesting effect here. All right, I'm happy with this one. So I can now go back. I can close this window and go back to the text layer below. So keep in mind, I got two layers with text. I make a duplicate of it. So go back to the one below and here I can modify the outline, make the dark outline for it. And I also need to change the size so I can see it. So I got one outline on the layer above, white color and the layer below got dark outline. Again, you can play around with blending modes if you want to blend this with your background. And I would like to add one more thing here. I want to use shadow tool to give it this 3D like look that people use this effect when doing gravity. All right. In my case, it's still blurry. So I need to make this edge smooth like this, like someone use paint. We don't want to end up with shadow, like the text floating in the air. We just want to turn this shadow into this dark, dark area below the text itself to give it this 3D look. More like this. You can play with colors, opacity, blending modes. It's totally up to you how you're going to finish up your project. I doing some tries and errors, changing this few times, as you can see, just playing with different blending modes, playing with different opacity level, playing with different shade of gray to adjust my color to existing background. And also keep in mind, you should keep this color as same as the outline color. So the easiest way to do it is to just using normal blending mode and then you can use this color pickle tool and pick exactly same color. Okay, so as you can see, I got my text on two layers. So they're all here, two layers with text giving me this nice graffiti like style. I got also brick for my background. What else can we do? We can search for additional texture here using this built-in stock panel like this one. So the brick layer is at the bottom, but this one will be at the top. So it will give texture to the graffiti itself, to my text layer itself. Again, I scale it down, position in the center, and now it's important to change the blending mode. Again, if you are not familiar with blending modes, the best way to learn about them is to experiment with them. Change, check how they will blend with things below. All right, so 
maybe something like this from this area overlay okay as you can see now this new texture is blending with both the text layer and the background everything that is below this let's switch it off for a moment I just want to add a new blank layer here I will use brush tool to make some additional texture additional paint below this text so I'm using brush tool right here this is not the brush I need I need different brush so let's check what do we have here in texture group so there are several groups for your brushes and this is just the one that is built in in the software you don't need to download any extra brush for this exercise so I am going to use this one dark color similar to the one we use before to make this dark outline and just tap here and there to add some dirty texture below the text to make the brush smaller or larger you can use brackets on your keyboard the square brackets you can also open this more menu at the top and you got full control on the brush settings over here you can move sliders left and right to control your brush settings in my case I think I'm going to open this menu once more and change the brush opacity over here all right now it should be less transparent much better much darker color all right just finishing touch here and there we got this dirty paint below the text itself now i'm going to do something similar again new blank layer same brush but this time using white color and this is at the top above the text all right if you feel like this texture is too strong you can modify the blending mode and opacity for it so let's try it you see when you're moving blending mode the texture will be much lighter like this one all right i think that's enough let's try everything together so let me just check some elements everything's working all right and let's turn on the final texture at the very top of the project and here it is I think I'm going to modify the color of the background we can do that by entering this layer effects again something like this will do I believe all right and here is my final result this is the way how you can create graffiti like text style using affinity photo if you are interested in affinity software like affinity designer photo or publisher please consider subscribing to my youtube channel see you in the next one